Hello everybody, my name is Christian Quick and welcome back to another video. Today we are actually starting on the desktop because we are going to be talking about the setup for your mod. And to do this, you're going to need three things. You're going to need what's called an SDK, or not an SDK, you're going to need what's called a JDK. Uh, so let's look up JDK. Uh, I get mine from Oracle. Um, if you just go to Windows and then you go to your installer, you can download. Um, I'll show you how to pull that up in IntelliJ. You could probably use Eclipse, but I'm going to use IntelliJ. Uh, it has a lot more, um, what would you call it? Like, it does more with the, um, the, the GitHub, the, the Gradle as well. Um, there's more functionality. Like, there's more things you can do with it. There's more freedom of stuff that you'll be able to do with it. But the main thing is, you just need the Java. So as long as I have the Java, the Gradle, and the GitHubs, that's fine. And you'll notice that they all come down under the Community Edition, which is completely free, built on open source. Beautiful. That's all you need. You just got to download it. And once you have your SDK installed, once you have your IntelliJ uh, um, downloaded, installed, stuff like that, uh, you could try and open up your IntelliJ. I don't know how to make it as if I'm opening it up brand new. Uh, that I have no idea how it is done. Uh, but we're just going to pretend that I did so. Uh, the last thing you're going to need is actually... Um, what's it called? The Fabric Net Developer. So for this, uh, we'll uh, bring it in like this. So here's how this is going to work. This is the name of the big folder that holds everything, but it's just a folder. You could name this literally anything. So, um, I don't know, <laughs> big folder, big folder name. It's whatever your mod is. So it's uh, your, your mod folder name. That's literally all it is. Uh, moving down to this, so you have your mod ID, and your mod ID is very important. If I bring up Minecraft, and then I go Assets, Minecraft, let's go Block States and the Acacia Door, for example. Your mod ID is basically what the word Minecraft is. So see how it's in quotes here. The whole thing is called this. So it's uh, Minecraft, Block, Acacia Door, and the specific block that you're looking for but it's in Minecraft's database. It's basically Minecraft's, you know, quotes mod, but it's the vanilla, it's the base that everything comes from. Whatever you want yours to be called. So it would, this would basically be your, your mod, and it would go through all your mods blocks and then the specific block. So there is that, so, but it is from Minecraft. So whatever that is, make sure it is all lowercase, whatever it is. So it's gonna be your mod. And then the name. The name is, I, I was always told to use net instead of .com, but then it's going to be your name. So your mod, whatever you call, make sure that the thing is lowercase. Here's your name, there's all that. Make sure that all three of these, we will be using data generation, but I'm gonna personally put in the codes because I don't really know how it's gonna work. Um, this whole thing is newer. We used to have to grab it from uh, GitHub there's an example package and stuff like that, and the process is a lot more complicated. So just make sure all these are turned off, take out your download template, and then uh, go in your downloads. Uh, you can extract it here, it doesn't really matter. Uh, extract, uh, delete the zip file, and then from here, whatever you want to change the name of this folder, uh, I would do it now. <laughs> Do it, do it just right here. Before you touch anything in this folder, this is the, because once everything's finalized and is become final, you won't be able to change this. So once again, your mod, okay, this is the folder name. Uh, so we're gonna bring, now, now that it's here, we're gonna bring it here, and we don't need that. When it comes down to your IntelliJ, uh, you're gonna open it, and then you wanna do to file, and you want to go to open, because I've never I've never seen this before in my life. So you have your your little C packet or whatnot, because you want you want to find it. And because I put it on my desktop personally, it would be in here. It'd be in users, whatever your computer name is, and you'll see automatically that little thing right there means that there's some code in there. So we're gonna get on here and we're gonna find our 
your mod folder, whatever it is, your mod folder name, click on it, and then hit OK. Well, this window, if it asks you if it's like to trust something, go for it. Um, there's all that. I think I might have actually copied something. I'm going to see if it's the uh, Control V. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> um, the MIT license. So your license, uh, I do have this in the uh, the GitHub. It's the only thing I'm going to be copying and pasting in this video. Um, when you first open up IntelliJ, um, it's going to run a couple things in the background. So just kind of just kind of let those do their their thing. Uh, and while they're doing their thing, we're gonna we're gonna focus on a couple things. So in here we have our main. We have your name, your mod, and uh, in here, so it's called your mod, and that's that that's fine. So in here, uh, you're gonna call this the same thing as your mod. Oop, yeah, refactor, refactor rename. I know it's in here. There it is, and you're gonna call this the same thing as your mod. Whatever this is, uh, you're you're gonna call it except it's going to have a capital letter. So make sure whatever it is, you're going to make sure it's got a capital letter. And then you got your mixin. Um, from here, uh, you are also, yeah, you're also going to want to make a new folder, a package. And it's going to be called your mod. And then put everything, just put everything in that package refactor, refactor, and then bam. You're basically all done from here. Actually, I think you just about are done from here. From that, there's two things that we're going to look at because everything in all your folders are done. That was literally all you needed to change. You don't need this, and you don't need this. You do need your logger to see your mod. When it comes to the build.gradle, the only thing I would change is for this to be 1.0. And then come down to where this is mod implementation, uh, and then just backspace it until you see these three all go through. Then that's all good. Um, that's literally all you need to do in this. And then the final thing, here is all your personal stuff. So from here, you have your mod version. So uh, what I see a lot of people do is they will either say, this is how my mod perfectly is, it's beautiful, I love it, and we're just going to just keep making updates, so it'll be that one, and then you'll make like a 1.0, maybe even a 1.1.2.3.4, because that's what Minecraft does. Um, you can also, before Minecraft had its 1.0, it was in 0 .0 0.0.1, and then you can have 2 and 3, and, and you can keep going up until you are done with your mod once it's complete. Like if you have a, a goal in mind, then the 1.0.0 would be the officially completed version. But honestly, that is completely up to you. It doesn't matter one little tiny bit uh, what it is. Like I said, this repeats net.yourName. So whatever your name is, you would write it here. And I mean, it should already be automatically downloaded. So I'm just pointing that out to you. And then the last thing, your mod. Make sure that this is the lowercase one should already be put here, but this is basically where the word Minecraft comes in in that lowercase. Make sure that everything you used here was lowercase. The only thing that should have ever been uppercased is this name, this little class file, because you can see it uses. I think it's called camel text. Could be wrong, <laughs> but it's when you use the uh, the first letter of a class is um, capitalized, while the rest of the letters are always um, lowercase. But your setup should just about be fine. Um, your file, your project structure, make sure that it is on your, your project structures. As you can see, I have a ton of project structures. I used to, <laughs> I used to use 11, <laughs> um, 19, uh, seven, actually, you want to use 17. So if you have Oracle 17, um, even if you use, um, what is it, Timurian? 17. I, I know other people that use that, but I'm just going to be using Oracle. Okay, apply and then hit OK. It'll load its things. Uh, Gradle properties. Uh, hit reload because we did actually change something in here. We changed the 1.0 and we're loading these. So that is going to load its projects. And then you're going to want to add your configuration. Actually, I think that's what this is going to do. Uh, build model. 
scanning, and then it's going to put in your, your stuff, because that's going to put in your internal files, uh, all the stuff that you really need. But the most important one is you have your build, and then you're going to one, two, what, three, and this is going to have basically all your uh, Minecraft, uh, that's all the data files, but then you have the net dot Minecraft, remember how I said the lowercase, that is the mod ID. Uh, and then here is all the things that Minecraft has made. Uh, it almost looks like my official folder. Wink, wink. <laughs> um, but that's that's really all there is to it. I mean, from here, you can add your configuration. Um, you can, little plus. It should already be in here. I'm not too sure why it's not. Um, application, unnamed, module, main. Can I hit apply, okay? Okay, I don't know why it wasn't doing it, but you should be able to do it like this. Uh, <laughs> if worse comes to worse, you have your Gradle, uh, and then in there you can task fabric and then run your client from here. And once you already start running it, uh, every time you go to run it from there, it will, it'll automatically be at the top of here. I don't know why it didn't bring up the, uh, the basic, hopefully yours. If you can, all you would have to do is change, um, you would just have to change and like where, where you saw me hit main, but for some reason I didn't have those lower class things there. Um, but as you can tell, it is it is working. It's got the fabric 1.19.3. Your mod is now in in the game. It is recognized and registered. It understands that your mod now exists. But um, beyond that, um, I mean that's that's it. So I mean, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado.